When it comes to this internationally known Hall of Famer, is there really any need for an introduction? This six foot nine inch star can play every position on the court. An infinite comic who is renowned for his remarkable half court hook shot. He has thrilled and delighted audiences on every continent. From Houston, Texas, where he was an All-American at the University of Houston, please welcome the reigning clown, Prince of Basketball, number 41, the one, the only, Sweet Lou Dunbar! Lou Dunbar has been with the Globetrotters for some 40 years. 27 of those as a player and a showman. Make that showman with a capital S. I was playing with Sweet Lou, and he was a showman at the time. And I remember he took um, uh, a cowboy hat from this guy. And this guy literally ran Sweet Lou around the gym probably 20 times. And I was a rookie at the time, and I was laughing so hard. I mean, everybody in the crowd all the players we were on the floor dying. It's a long way from Webster High School in Northwest Louisiana to traveling the world for the Globetrotters. But that's where his star began shining, as a 6'9 player who could play point guard. Dunbar averaged 26 points and 12 rebounds and scored 49 points in a state title game. I met him when he was uh, 17, 18 years old and he was getting ready to go to the University of Houston. And I just follow, I've been following him ever since. And he's just been a real, just an inspiration. Legendary Houston coach Guy Lewis found a guy who could play all five positions in college. The numbers in 1975 were 23 points and seven rebounds in earning All-America honors. He would be named to the Houston Athletics Hall of Honor in 2008. His personality, his smile, and his ability to interact with fans made him the perfect globetrotter. Mr. Dunbar, oh, meet sir. Mr. Hook. I'm sorry, see, I see you there. I'm sorry, we're praying. All right, brother. There were even commercials. It was that smile that left fans all over the world smiling again and again. Then he changed from game uniform to a suit and tie, joining the organization as coach and director of player personnel, still loving life and being part of the Globetrotters. It led him to be named a Globetrotters legend. He had big hands, so he would cuff it like this. Not like that, like time, it's like this, like this. I thought you had it. My hands aren't quite that big. Never had it. And one of the few to have his number retired. 